Here's a newer, increasingly popular strategy, which I've seen at iClear this year, called min-p sampling. Like top p, it filters out probability tokens before sampling, but instead of using a fixed probability mask, min-p is dynamic. It adapts based on the model's confidence. It looks at the probability of the most likely token and sets a dynamic cutoff based on that. For example, it might say only keep tokens that are at least 10% as likely as the top token, meaning keep everything above 6% and throw away the rest. So if the model is very confident, say one token has 60% probability, then only a few high probability options are kept, like in this example, but if the model is less certain and the top token has only 20% probability, then many other options pass the threshold. This means that min-p automatically tightens or loosens the sampling pool depending on how confident the model is, balancing coherence when it's sure and diversity when it's not.